everybody, this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. I'm John, that's Zach, and I'm really glad you're here to check out the Epiphone Les Paul Custom. This is one of the best-selling guitars that Epiphone makes, modeled on the iconic Les Paul Custom from Gibson. This is part of the Inspired by Gibson collection, and it represents an incredible value because for $799, you're getting an Epiphone Les Paul Custom. Compare that to the current production from the Gibson Custom Shop, which is about the only place you'll find the Les Paul Custom and those are well north of four or $5,000 or more. So truly in comparison, this might be one of the best buys out there on the guitar market. I'll tell you everything you need to know about the Epiphone Les Paul Custom. I'll take it apart on the bench. We'll take a deep dive, talk full specs before we plug it in and play it. And if you're in the market for any new gear or this guitar, remember to purchase using our link. Click to buy using our link because it does support our channel. You also get fast free shipping and easy payment plans. So it's a great way to buy any new gear that you need. Also be in it to win it. We're giving away a Gibson Les Paul Deluxe Gold Top Guitar. Tons of new ways to enter, including premium memberships, which will even give you access to our backing tracks. Check all that out in the description. All right, let's get to work on the Epiphone Les Paul Custom. I'm really excited about this one. So at this price, it's not gonna include a case or anything. This is straight out of the box. Beautiful Alpine white. This is gonna be a polygloss finish. It's also available in ebony for a beautiful black on black look, especially with this nice dark piece of real ebony. This is a standout feature. It's got a real ebony fretboard at this price, which is just beautiful. You've got these Epiphone Pro Bucker two and three pickups. I'll talk all about those on the bench. And a Slim Taper 60s neck. Fast playing guitar, great price. Let's head over to the bench and take it apart for a full deep dive. Slim Taper neck, nut reads 1.67 inches. 0.82 inches at the first, up to 0.88 at the 12th. Mahogany body, maple cap, although you can't really see much under that solid color, can you? Uh, 1.92 inches thick. And something else I wanna point out, on the Epiphone Les Pauls, even though there's technically binding on the guitar, the way they install these frets, there are no fret nibs. So the frets are basically put on over the binding and then filed down. One of the trade-offs on the value you're getting from Epiphone is that these are made quickly and they make a lot of them. And I will point out some things that you're gonna see every now and then on Epiphones because they do move quickly. You can see a lot of tool marks in the binding and that's because they took this fret and basically filed it down leaving tool marks on this binding itself. And you can actually see it all the way up, all the way up to guitar. All right, let's flip over these humbuckers. We're looking at an Epiphone Pro Bucker 3 in bridge position. Epiphone Pro Bucker 2 in neck position. Short neck tenon on this guitar. Flipping on the multimeter, we get a reading on these pickups. 8.3 in bridge position. 7.7 .7 in neck. 3.9 combined. All right, lifting up the control cover, we'll take a look at the hand wiring it under the hood here. Nice feature is upgraded CTS pots, regular Gibson style controls, 500K pots. Looks pretty clean in there. All right, doesn't feel terribly heavy. Let's see how much this custom weighs here. Nine pounds, three ounces, we'll call it uh, 9.2 pounds. Pretty good weight for a Les Paul. I love a Les Paul that's right around nine pounds. And then flipping this around for an initial reaction, uh, definitely noticeably a uh, slim tapered neck. Our backing tracks are now available for sale on Bandcamp and also if you sign up at our custom shop premium membership level, you can get access to all of our backing tracks forever. And uh, it's a really cool thing to have as a premium channel member. Let's get plugged in and check this out. I'm super excited. At the end, stick around because I'll give you my final score and raw reactions to playing the Epiphone Les Paul Custom. Let's get plugged in and get to work.
I've got to tell you, I am a sucker for a Les Paul Custom, and this one looks beautiful, and I was really hoping it was going to play well, and guess what? It really does. I love the feel of Ebony. I will say for $799, obviously you've got to remember that with Epiphone, they make a lot of these, and they're moving fast. So you might have a few cosmetic imperfections here and there, but when it comes down to it, I think that the Pro Bucker pickups sound fantastic. And I think the ebony and the neck itself actually feels really comfortable and really playable. So you've stuck with me to the end. I'm going to talk about my final score. I give a score to a guitar based on three main categories, and that's overall playability, overall sound, and overall value. When it comes to playability, there were some workmanship issues in terms of the frets. However, it did not translate to the playability of the guitar. It actually played really well. I had a lot of fun playing this guitar, and there's just something that's really velvety, and smooth about playing an ebony fretboard, and this real ebony fretboard is a standout. So I would definitely give it high marks in, ter in terms of playability. When it comes to overall sound, I also am a big fan of the Epiphone kind of PAF style Pro Buckers. And I will tell you a couple of adjustments I made for better sound and better playability. Out of the box, sometimes these can, these can vary in terms of what they need. If you're starting out with guitar, I would recommend taking it to a tech. At this price, because they move quickly, I'll tell you the things I had to do. I did have to loosen the truss rod a little bit. I did increase the height of the bridge itself a little bit to give a little bit more clearance for the high E string. And then finally, when I first plugged in, the pickups did sound a little bit thinner, so all I had to do was increase the height of both humbuckers until it reached a sound that felt fuller to my ear. And after making a few adjustments which were easy to do, I thought the guitar played really well and sounded really good. But that is kind of the catch if there is one with Epiphone. They're coming out of a cardboard box, they move quickly, so you're gonna have to double check setup. If you're equipped to do it, do it yourself. If not, take it to a tech and get it done because once it is set up, it'll be your friend for life and it is a really solid, solid guitar for an unbeatable price of $799. Finally, value, that brings us to price. You just cannot touch a Les Paul Custom for $799 from Gibson. I mean, it's just out of the question. So for Epiphone, it's clear why this is a top seller because it's got the looks, it's got the sound, and it's got a great price. Definitely get yourself a hard shell case. I would knock a few points for not having any kind of bag or case with it. Um, I kind of would wish that that would be included, but that's something you're going to want to add on. All right, I'm going to give this guitar a solid 8.7. And the bulk of where this good score is coming from is value. And to me, you have to temper a little bit the idea that a guitar at this price range is going to be perfect because oftentimes it's not. Oftentimes, I'm not gonna lie to you, it needed some setup. The thing is, you do the little bit of setup, you tweak it to your liking, and then you have a guitar for an unbelievable price. And so the bulk of this 8.7 score is coming from a big boost in value because it's $799. In terms of sound and playability, I'm probably giving it somewhere between an eight, eight and a half overall. But again, average it out, that's taking us to the high eights when you factor in value because the price is pretty much unbeatable. Easy to see why it's a top seller. If you're in the market for this guitar or any other gear, remember to buy using our link because you really, really do support us and thank you, it does mean a lot. It does help this channel and there's a great incentive including fast free shipping and easy payment plans if you buy gear using our link we make it super easy 
Thanks to all of our new channel members. Thanks to everybody who comments on our videos. Go ahead and drop a comment. And let us know what you think of the Epiphone Les Paul Custom. Check out one of these video links to watch another demo on playing trade guitars. Be in it to win it. Sign up on Gleam for our Gibson Les Paul Deluxe Gold Top giveaway. Thanks for being part of Playing Trade Guitars. I'm John Nutsack, and this is Playing Trade Guitars. <laughs>